The Stoic life was built around practices and habits that had one sole purpose, to continually become better human beings. If we too want to become better every single day, we can follow the Stoic way and implement a morning routine into our lives that will guide us in this important endeavor. Today, so many of us go through our days mindlessly. We think about the future in terms of wishing for things, more money, a better relationship, a freer life, but we never actually make it happen. By taking the time to plan each day, we can construct the lives we want. We can improve our relationships. We can find a better job. We can become fit and healthy. Planning is the key to moving ourselves forward and continually becoming better human beings. Here are the five practices the Stoics included in their morning routine to help them grow and become better every single day. 1. Prepare for adversity. When Marcus Aurelius awoke in the morning, he would consider the day ahead, the ways in which he would go about his day, how he would behave in accordance with the four virtues of Stoicism, wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance, the challenges he may face, and how he would work to overcome these. He explained, when you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they can't tell good from evil. We can use this practice to ready ourselves for any challenges the day may bring. By rehearsing anything that might go wrong, or any events that could potentially derail us, we can begin to prepare, either mentally or physically, to deal with them appropriately and to continue through our day unscathed. Seneca further outlines this practice, explaining, cling tooth and nail to the following rule, not to give in to adversity, never to trust prosperity, and always to take full note of Fortune's habit of behaving just as she pleases, treating her as if she were actually going to do everything it is in her power to do. Whatever you have been expecting for some time comes as less of a shock. Here's what you can do. Think about what challenges or obstacles may come up during the course of your day and how you might deal with them. The simple act of considering that they may occur will have huge benefits for how you cope if they do and will mentally prepare you for this adversity. Envisage the tools and strengths you will cultivate to effectively cope with these challenges. Two, plan for a day lived well. The Stoics were passionate about leading meaningful and purposeful lives. Seneca reminds us, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Planning our days will help us to ensure that we are putting our time and effort into meaningful pursuits and therefore living a worthwhile life. Something that can help us in this endeavor is to consider a lifetime versus dead time. Life is constantly asking us, is this going to be a lifetime or dead time? A long commute? Are we going to zone out or listen to an audiobook? A delayed flight? Are we going to get in a couple of miles by walking around the terminal or shove a Cinnabon into our face? A tour of duty or a contract we have to earn out? Is this tying us down or freeing us up? That's our call. We have to choose to make every moment a moment of a lifetime. We have to decide to be present, to make the most of whatever is in front of us. Here's what you can do. As you plan your day, identify ways where you can maximize a lifetime and minimize dead time. Recognize the situations in which you can bring more value and meaning to your day to ensure that your days are lived to their maximum potential. See what events and tasks are on the agenda and consider whether they are a meaningful use of your time. 3. Focus on your purpose. The Stoics remain steadfast on their purpose in life. We can see in Marcus Aurelius's meditations that he regularly reminded himself of his purpose. This kept him focused on the task at hand and gave him the motivation to wake up in the morning. Don't you see the plants, the birds, the ants, the spiders and the bees going about their individual tasks? putting the world in order as best they can, and you're not willing to do your job as a human being. At dawn, when you have trouble getting out of bed, tell yourself, I have to go to work as a human being. What do I have to complain of if I'm going to do what I was born for, the things I was brought into the world to do? Or is this what I was created for, to huddle under the blankets and stay warm? Taking time in the morning to reconnect with our purpose 
will help us to live a meaningful life. Living each day in alignment with your core purpose will ensure that your day is lived well and that your time is spent in meaningful pursuits. Here's what you can do. Before entering into the new day, bring to mind your purpose and remind yourself of why you are here and why you are rising from bed in the first place. It may be helpful to articulate an intention for the day ahead to keep you focused on this purpose. Throughout the day, come back to your purpose or your intention to help keep yourself focused on the task at hand. Four, remind yourself of the dichotomy of control. This is one of the core ideas of Stoicism. We either have control over something or we don't. Recognizing the difference between the two is imperative for a steady mind and a happy life. In our morning routines, we can remind ourselves of what we control, and in this way, not become upset by things we have no control over as we go about our days. Marcus Aurelius says, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Here's what you can do. There is no point in wasting time or energy on things outside of your control. Focus your energy on the things you can control. Your actions, your thoughts, your judgments. Consider the happenings of the day ahead and realize that you do not have control over most things. This preparation and recognition will make it easier for you to let go of resistance to the things you don't have control over. The traffic, your colleagues' actions, or the neighbor's loud music. Five, remember your mortality. Another key idea of Stoicism, memento mori. Marcus Aurelius frequently reminded himself of his mortality. You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. Living to see another day is never promised. We must always remember this. And although it may sound morbid, including this reflective practice in our morning routines will ensure that we live each day well. If tomorrow is not guaranteed, what must we do today to be content with what we have achieved in life thus far? Remembering your own mortality will help you to live life with excellence. If you approach each task as if it were your last, because it very well could be, you are likely to do it well and with your whole heart. This is related to the important Stoic concept of areti, essentially excellence. Seneca had a similar mindset. Let us prepare our minds as if we'd come to the very end of life. Let us postpone nothing. Let us balance life's books each day. The one who puts the finishing touches on their life each day is never short of time. Here's what you can do. Embrace each day as if it were your last. Do all things with excellence. Make the most of your limited time here on earth. 